Hi guys! So a few weeks ago, I was watching Bubs Beauty's yogurt face mask tutorial. And I was so happy to see that someone is doing a video for this because yogurt is such an amazing product. So I was inspired by her video and that's why I wanted to make this one as a supplement to her video. So go ahead and put away your pitchforks, put away your knives and fire because I'm not trying to copy Bubs Beauty. But I'm hoping that this video will be extra information to her video. So the thing I want to talk about is what makes up yogurt. There's two components inside of yogurt that makes it an awesome face mask. The first component is lactic acid. Lactic acid is a very mild acid and it will help balance our pH level. Our skin cells are naturally at around a pH level of 4 to 6. It's a little bit more on the acidic side but it is a good thing because the acidity level actually helps protect our skin from bacteria and other fungal infections. This acidic layer also helps protect the keratin protein that's in our skin. And keratin is a protein that helps make your skin look younger and firmer. Some of the acidic level actually comes from the oils on our face. This oil layer helps protect your skin from bacteria and all those other yucky things that want to get on it. Our skin constantly shifts pH levels depending on the soaps that we're using. Usually soaps make our skin more basic and this actually takes off the oil layer of our skin which is normal but it also makes us very prone to bacterial infection. I know there's these preconceived notions that oh my gosh oil is bad for my skin it's gonna make me break out blah, 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 blah. and you know even I have recommend products where you would use it and it'll cut down the oil but what I've been trying to tell you is that you want to cut down on excessive oil not the actual natural good oil that's on your face it's kind of like losing weight you want to lose unhealthy fat but you still need fat to survive when it comes to treating skin and when it comes to having acne you need a specific balance and having oil on your face isn't all that bad it actually keeps you younger looking for a longer amount of time and also there's a reason why we are biologically made with sebaceous gland the second most amazing component inside of yogurt is zinc zinc acts as an extringent and it basically helps constrict the skin cells um, and tighten up other types of tissues that are on our body and this is also the reason why after you use the yogurt mask you see your pores shrinking uh, and you see that it's a little bit less noticeable zinc also works works as an anti-inflammatory so if you have a pimple or if you have acne it will help soothe your acne and it will also lessen the redness on your face so the cool thing about yogurt is that you can modify it to your skin you, if you have dry skin you can make it more moisturizing if you have oily skin you can make it a little bit more drying you can add honey to moisturize the skin lemon to reduce age spots and scars and egg whites for acne but of course you would probably want to use low fat or whole fat yogurt because that's where the lactic acid resides. Now for me, I have very, very oily skin, like excessively oily, so I prefer using a non-fat yogurt. But if you have like oily to combination skin or just normal to dry skin, I would recommend using a low fat to a whole fat yogurt um, because you do need the lactic acid. You do need that level of acidity to be balanced. I'm going to show you my favorite yogurt mask. I do this probably maybe once a month. Uh, there are times when I like to pamper myself a little bit more and use it maybe every other week. You have to understand that masks are supposed to be there for you to feel less stress and it's supposed to be a time for you to relax. I don't ever want you guys to think that because I use yogurt mask that's the reason why my skin is so smooth or that's why it's so soft. Yes, the effects do work perfectly for me but you also have to remember that it took a lot of time for me to get to where I am today. It, it, I mean, my acne didn't go away overnight. It, it was a constant battle for about maybe four years. And, you know, I was on a lot of medication. And I was doing a lot of things to my face. So I don't want you guys to ever think that, oh, because I'm presenting you this, that it's going to go away overnight. It's going to help. And I don't want you guys to think that's not going to work at all. It's a mask. And it's supposed to help you feel beautiful and every time I put on a mask I feel relaxed and, I, and that's what beauty regimens are here for they're supposed to make you feel good supposed to make you feel important supposed to make you feel significant and I don't want you guys to ever think that all these regimens or all these makeup gurus throwing all these things at you is for you to hide certain traits or hide your ugliness or anything like that no it's for you to feel good and that's the general aspect of everything that most gurus do and I want you to feel good because I feel wonderful when I pamper myself so my favorite yogurt mask is um, I like to use a non-fat yogurt because like I said I'm oily enough place about a teaspoon of it on a dish 
Then I go ahead and squirt in a little bit of lemon juice because lemon helps me with my oil problem as well as lighten up my acne scars. And then I just mix it up for a little bit and apply it on with a foundation brush. Now if you're feeling extremely adventurous, I recommend using yogurts with life cultures in it. In live yogurts, there are enzymes that can really kill bacteria on your face to prevent it from acne. Also, I know how awesome it is to use yogurt from the fridge, but try to use room temperature yogurt. Cold yogurt closes up your pores, and the yogurt can't get into your pores to do its job. Also, don't forget that you can use yogurt up to 5 days after its expiration date on your face. Put it to good use. Those cows didn't work so hard for nothing. Alrighty, I hope that's a pretty good amount of information for you. Um, I hope this gives you the confidence to use yogurt because a lot of people are thinking, Ew, yogurt's food, I eat it, I don't want to put it on my face. And you know, it's really amazing stuff. So um, go ahead, dig into your fridge, find some expired yogurt, slather it on your face and feel good for tonight. And so yeah, I am going to go watch the Golden Globe Awards now. Bye! Rock on, skin freaks!